Hello, Magic Armor Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria Adventure Maps with me, Blue Ankylo, playing the story of Blue Cloud with the Dark Souls mod created by Tim Hursted, and probably had some help from some other people here and there. <laughs> anyway, in the last episode, we fought the Rage and won, although it may have killed us once. Tip, pro tip, don't try to melee it, no matter how cool your spear is. Anyway, in today's episode, we've got 25,000 Dark Souls, and it's time to upgrade our armor. Uh, and I decided finally which I was going to get, and I will show you in a second. Let's just hide away some of our potions. There you go. Uh, so I don't accidentally waste all of my good magic potions. Now, I did decide that although it's true, I've been having a great time with my... Uh, oops, I think I forgot one ingredient. No? Well, see, I could change my mind right now. I could make this ancient set right here. It's good with everything, but it's kind of got lower defense than what I wanted. Uh, I'm not sure how big it is, but I've been having such a fun time with my spear. What I decided I wanted to do was go with the uh, the crystal set rather than the ancient magic set. The ancient magic set is like all about, well, it's got movement speed, melee speed, mana cost, chance to not use ammo, plus damage bonus to everything. Just a small damage bonus. I think the melee one, the, this one, crystal armor, I think it'll be better for what I'm doing with my uh, with my stuff. So, oh, stop! Jeez, those things do a lot of damage. Anyway, I forgot to bring crystals. Wow, I can't believe how much those hellbats do for damage. That's just insane. And that's part of the reason why I'm trying to go with uh, the crystal armor. Just because, dang, do those things hurt. Alright, let's craft it up quick before I get murdered down here. Now I also realize I do have enough souls, just barely, to go for an, a level three, like an ice three tome, but I think it's worth getting the armor first and then I'll think about the next step. So we need, first and foremost, we need the actual armor. We need the boots. I mean, it's only 10% movement. The magic plate actually had 20% movement, so it was a little bit better for that. And then the choice for the helmets, I don't know, it feels like these should be, when health falls below 80, physical damage goes up, because this is such a physical set. Minus 30% ranged and magic damage. But, uh, I don't know. We'll go with, uh, melee critical or knockback, basically, is the difference. Uh, melee critical. We'll go with that. Why not? Alright, so bam, bam, bam. Crystal armor. Set bonus, more melee crit, melee speed, and still firewalk. So it should have put our our uh, weapons to do a little bit. So we got 45 melee, 26% crit, and very fast, very strong knock. Bam, bam, bam. If I had it the other way, it was very, very similar. Whatever. I tried. Is my defense better? 33 instead of 33. Really? I thought my defense was going to go up. 5, 13, and 9... 5, 20, and 5. Oh, is it really the same total? Oh, 36. So I do get a little bit more armor. Well, it's not that great. I was kind of expecting a better upgrade, honestly. So all in all, that won't really make much difference. <laughs> Let's just be honest, guys. That's That was kind of a side upgrade for 9,000 souls and a bunch of crystals. <laughs> oh, well. I figured I would try it. Let's put our magma armor over here. Uh, I do think that the next set of armor, though, I, I want to make is a magic set, just so I have some uh, something to to balance. Oops, pick that up. All right, so now that I have, in the last episode, picked up the cobalt drill, we could indeed go to the left side of the map, I believe, because that was where the mithril walls were. The cobalt walls were all on this right side of the map, but I think we're gonna go. We're gonna finish this right side first. Apparently there's some sort of wyvern king up above us, uh, and there was a fancy castle up on top of the mountain. We saw that a while back, um, before we had uh, before we had the the uh, pickaxe. So uh, we're gonna explore these caves a little bit longer. We do get pretty good souls out of them, so you know, bear with me. I'll try not to waste too much more time down here, though. I'll be heading sort of up and right mostly. Other than killing stuff and getting killed, of course. But that's why you guys watch, right? Watching Blue get murdered by pink bats. At least they're not pink dinosaurs. Alright, that would be very embarrassing. Alright, let's get up here. Yeah, why are all the enemies in the Hallow pink? 
that's that's a good question. Alright. 75 Dark Souls per one of those, not too bad. Uh, I did notice there's a really cool um oh, there's a life crystal I could have picked up. There's a really cool um that was the way to a dead end. I remember that. <laughs> there was a really cool bow that I could make called the Artemis Bow, that all you need is some light souls of light and 75,000 dark souls, of course, and I could make like a bow that does like 400 damage, which sounds pretty nice, but it's a lot of souls, and I did not have enough. So, maybe one day I'll get it. It's also very slow speed, so I'm not sure how good it would be in the long run. Is that a warlock? I really, I don't know, let's fight a warlock. Can I get him like stun locked? Yes! Die, warlock. Leave me alone, Archer. Okay, don't get close. That's a bad idea. Alright, well, once you get him stunlocked, it's not so bad. Alright, that's our first Warlock kill, I believe. 1,200 Dark Souls. Not bad. Kind of a cheap way to kill him, but uh, for that many souls, I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get. You know, we've probably basically cleared this cave out. I mean, it's possible, it's it's likely I've missed a couple things, but uh, I did find that really good underwater treasure. So uh, I think it's time to go up. Yeah, and this is kind of the way out too. Perfect! It's like I almost know where I'm going. Almost. Did I get that little chest there? Nope. Did I care? Not too much. Night Owl? Sure, we can get a restock. Why not? Do, do up 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 and away another reference from a movie all right what's over this way just boring slime snow we love snow i think i was here before though can't go up can't go right can i go down i don't know there's water at least down down we go into the water where it'll lead no one knows we're gonna drown pretty soon though if this doesn't uh, improve. To an angler fish. Uh, a heart and a chest. I hope this is a diving helmet or I'm about to die. Come on, something good, something good. Uh, no, everything except a diving helmet to be honest. <laughs> well, we'll take it all and then we're gonna get out of town. Shoot, it's gonna be hard to get back though this time. Ah, now how am I gonna get back there? I was either that or die and never get my Dark Souls again. So, um, I still think it was a good idea. Let's just stash some extra stuff here. Ah, I need to do another off-camera sorting section. Oops, there was something there. Because I've got too much stuff and I'm not paying attention to where I put it again, so I'll never find it when I need it. <laughs> ah, there needs... One thing Terraria could do with, and Minecraft as well for that matter, for those of you that play Minecraft is a, a slightly improved inventory type system. I don't know how, but I don't know. Something better. You know what? I've got enough life crystals, whatever. Cooked chickens, those are handy. One day I'll use some of those for some bosses. Saving them. I'm always saving them for later. Okay, well, um, let's just go for a run. Let's just have a chat. Let's walk. Let's go for a walk. So what do you guys think? You enjoying the mod so far? You know, I'm having a good time. Um, it's a pretty fun mod. Um, Pretty huge map. I'm, I'm constantly amazed at how large this area is. Um, I did go down there once, right? Yeah, I think I did that. It's like the Forgotten City or something. Goblins? Is this another goblin army that I forgot about? I don't really feel like fighting a goblin army right now, though. Honestly. I mean, I don't know. Do you get good Dark Souls for it? Is it really... Is it, like, worth it? You don't really seem to get too much. It's like 10 per each or something. Or is that 100 per each? It's 55, 75. I guess you get fairly good Dark Souls and they spawn pretty quick. You know what? Let's just crush this army while we're here. You know, it's not going to be specifically hard, but, you know, I don't mind recording a goblin battle every now and then. You know what I've actually never done in Terraria? I've never actually fought the uh, snowman army. I know, it's it's disappointing, right? You, you probably think I'm a horrible person. <laughs> but I've just never run into it. I never played around Christmas. I almost never have snow biomes. And it's just never happened. So, it's one of those things I've seen other people do, but I've never actually seen it myself. So, 
Just figured I'd point that out to my great shame. Is there any more? They seem to like the left side of the town more than the right side. The center of your town must be like over here or something. This is where they all like to spawn. Okay, let's mix it up. I've been spearing for a while. Let's go with some magic. This is a pretty good spell. I mean, you need more magic armor to really, really boost it up, but... Yeah, it's not bad. And now it has to regenerate mana. The, 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 the beauty of melee weapons is that you just never have to wait while they recharge, you know? Like, I like the mana system in Terraria, but I don't really like not being able to ca not being able to attack at all and having to wait. You know, you know, it's, it's the mana. I figure spells really need to do more damage than you could do with melee because you run out of mana with them so quickly. Um, whereas melee weapons, you can just always keep attacking. So to balance it, they have to be like way more powerful for my purposes, anyway. Wow, this is a lot of goblins. Am I getting some Dark Souls? Yeah, yeah. Almost seven or 8,000 just from killing these guys. I mean, if you're getting 70 per kill and they die so easy, I think it's a good idea. These Dark Elves are a little bit tougher though, that's for sure. But you get 180 from them. Yay, 180. It's kind of lame. All right, are we just about done this goblin army? I'd like to move on with the game, guys. Seriously. I think most people watching have seen me fight goblin armies once or twice. Do a little bit of fancy movement here just to, just to do some fancy skills. Showing off, jumping over arrows, you know, matrix moves. <laughs> if only Neo could have hovered in midair, that movie would have gone totally different. All right, that's all the Goblin Army. We're out of here. Give me my souls. Let's go. So how did I much did I get after all that? Twenty-three thousand. I has to. I think I had like fifteen thousand when it started. So overall, a good deal. Oh, this area has gone cropped. I haven't actually walked through here since uh, we changed the world. What? Spiky balls? Did it like change my equipment? So this whole area that used to be above ground jungle is now above ground corruption. Interesting. Oh, and then it just stops there. Okay. I wonder if that's like the design of the map or just bad luck on the uh, the spawning of all the the two hollow and darks and uh, whatever. You know what I mean. You know how the game sort of randomly adds the two areas once you f fight the wall of flesh, right? So I just wonder if it's random or actual designed. Do -do -do -do. I never really explored this town super thoroughly. It's possible I missed a couple things, but... I'm trying to get over to that hallowed area again, so we'll just run over. I figure you guys watching along, some of you might not actually know the map super well. Some of you guys are like old pros, certainly. But uh, for those of you like new to this map, every now and then I like to just sort of show you what the lay of the land is by not cutting out every walk I do. Oh, battle standard. If I want to fight more goblin armies. I think I'm okay with goblin armies for now. But yeah, you know, I feel like some people might, you know, want to know where everything connects up. So if I cut it out too often, you'll never know. Okay, let's go up. Um, let's see. This is the cave I went to first. Now, the last time I went super high up, I did find a castle. Uh, I might save that for the next episode, though. I'm just looking for another quick entrance into the mountain. I'm not sure if there's any more. I think, I think I'm just going to end up going all the way up to the... Well, there, I'm up to the castle. So much for that. Uh, <laughs> and you did, in fact, need the mithril drill to get in there. You know, I'm going to save that for the next episode, because that looks like probably the next dungeon or something. And I'm going to try to finish up sort of this under, under, under uh, mountain area, whatever you call it. If there's anything else. It'll probably just connect up anyway, to be honest. Get, get. You're pretty tough. Oh, he's Red Cloud Hunter. He's hunting the wrong person. I'm blue. Totally the wrong person. <laughs> I love this spear, though. I mean, come on, guys. Don't you think this spear is awesome? I'm going to have to switch up to a new weapon soon, I know. But I love it. This, like, this is really, really handy. Gastropod. 
You're no match for us. Are you another red cloud hunter? No, you're a man hunter. You hunt man. Okay, so this should connect to the giant room. Oh, what's that? Was that something? There will be a switch that will open that at some point. What? An assassin is tracking me. Was it the guy I already killed? Because <laughs> that was like a red cloud hunter. Okay, so I was here. Oh, so there's like... Is that it? That down there was the water pit. So going down there into the water pit is kind of foolish. Um, maybe that's it then. Maybe I have to go up to that one area. I mean, that's okay, but I didn't want to go there just... Down here. I'm pretty sure I came up here this way, actually. Yeah, I definitely I recognize that chest. Okay. Well, never mind then. I must have explored everything down here already, and I'm just wasting my time going back here. I thought I might find like something else just to wrap this episode up, but nope, never mind. We'll just go for a quick one back. Bet you guys are glad I got the supersonic boots for this kind of stuff, though, hey? Just wait though, there is an upgrade and it's even more super and more sonic. Actually, I think it's so super they're quiet apparently from the description. <laughs> hey archaeologist, you uh, moved, you used to be in town. You like it over here better? Trust me, no. I refuse. Um, he doesn't really sell anything useful, does he? Let's sell stuff, I never sell stuff. Here you go. Have No, I'll keep those. Have some that, have some gel. There you go. Hope you're happy. Sold you some crap. <laughs> All right, well, for today's episode, we'll have a quick look at the entrance to this next area. Why not? I like the snow. It makes me feel like at home. It makes me feel like I'm at home. Summon my fairy. It's nighttime. A glass nighttime snow area. This could be nice. Let's drill our way through. Oh, I forgot how slow the cobalt drill is. I like the upgrades that are nice and fast. Alright, one less elf mage to bother us. And huzzah, we are in. What a nice area with a golden chest. Uh, ice rod, well there we go, platforming 101. In case you don't know for some strange reason. Well, okay, let's get this out of the way first. In case you didn't know for some strange reason, you can make blocks and jump on them and they last a while and you can even without any other abilities, you can get kind of just about anywhere with those. Uh, if you watch my ad Link Adventure map, the uh, Link to the Terraria or whatever, you get to see me fail miserably at that all over the place. <laughs> you see a fortress edging out from the mountains in the distance. I bet I could use the ice rod to get across. Hmm. You serious? I have to do this with the ice rod? Probably nothing up here, but let's just check quick. Let's just check. You know what else would probably work? I mean, I'm just gonna say this because it's cheap. I could probably hover across in the zero gravity or the very low gravity zone up at the top and just use my hover boots to get across whatever the gap is. Because, you know. Anyway, open that. So we've got another way through now. No big deal. It's just a one way path. And then just above us should be the top of the world. Probably just on top of us there we go so yeah when you're up here you can like because you fall so slowly oh boy a wyvern a real proper wyvern this time I think uh, actually killing it with a spear would be fun let's let's kill it with a spear but yeah you can get a long way hovering in in low gravity up here with my current abilities almost got him or maybe he almost got me. To be honest, the Wyvern killed me many a time in normal vanilla Terraria, so... Maybe it's gonna kill me now. Maybe I should be using Crystal Storm on it. Perhaps. Doesn't seem all that effective, to be honest. I might die! <laughs> There we go. Give me the souls. Don't... Ah, oh, seriously? I wanted some souls of flight, because I don't know if I need them for anything. But, I can't get them. Maybe they'll... No, because the, the little soul sucker only sucks dark souls, not... 
those. So that's stuck there. I can't mine through the mountain, so so much for that. That's that's too bad. Oh well, let's just head back down. Probably fall to my death. Hey, a star. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave this jump for next episode. A little bit shorter episode this time. That's fine. I'm gonna. My inventory is actually pretty good right now. No big deal. So next episode we're gonna go for a flying leap, uh, or at the very least do some ice rod jumping or ice block jumping. We'll see how I feel. So thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. Next episode, big giant castle with ice. Awesome. Hope you've enjoyed.